half a trillion dollars, more than America spent on its entire highway system, is being sunk into the Texas Plains. Two secretive projects, Stargate and Hypergrid, are building the backbone of artificial intelligence at a scale no one's ever attempted. The only question is, will this gamble reshape the future or break it? Stargate is already rising in Abilene, a sprawling campus of eight mega halls designed to hold 400,000 of NVIDIA's most advanced Blackwell chips. But here's what most people don't realize. While OpenAI and its partners sprint to light up this $500 billion cluster, a second project is pushing just as hard, 300 miles north. It's called Hypergrid. Unlike Stargate, which leans on the existing grid, Hypergrid is trying something bolder, building its own power system from scratch. 11 gigawatts of nuclear, natural gas, solar, and wind. If Stargate is a sprint for compute, Hypergrid is a marathon for energy independence, and both are driving toward the same goal, to anchor the foundation no one's watching. But building intelligence at this scale isn't like pouring concrete for highways or stringing wires for power plants. It's uncharted territory, and the stakes are staggering. Both Stargate and Hypergrid face the same brutal reality. I doesn't just need chips and steel, it needs more electricity than most cities consume, supply chains stretch to breaking point, and deadlines that leave no room for error. Billions are already being poured into the Texas Plains, and the two projects couldn't be taking more different paths to the same destination. Stargate is betting on speed, sprinting to get compute online as fast as possible, while Hypergrid is betting on energy independence, building a power system of its own. Two visions, one race, and whoever finishes first may set the standard for a generation. Stargate began not as a finished plan, but as a code name. In early design sketches, engineers noticed a circular cooling system that looked like the sci-fi portal from the show Stargate. The name stuck and soon it became shorthand for OpenAI's most ambitious undertaking yet, a half-trillion-dollar network of AI megafactories across America. The idea took shape after the launch of GPT-4, when OpenAI realized its growth projections were far too conservative. Training smarter models was manageable, but the real shock came from usage. Millions of people were running billions of prompts, far more than the company had expected. Suddenly, the bottleneck wasn't just training AI, it was having enough computing muscle to keep it alive. The solution required scale no single company could manage alone. OpenAI went hunting for partners. SoftBank's Masayoshi Sun committed billions, betting on AGI, artificial general intelligence. Unlike today's narrow AI, AGI would be capable of learning and reasoning like a human across nearly any task. Oracle offered servers and fiber capacity, eager to compete with Microsoft and Amazon in cloud dominance. And local and state officials in Texas cleared regulatory hurdles and offered massive tax incentives. An 85% property tax reduction in Abilene, recognizing Stargate as critical infrastructure for America's tech future. Even President Trump amplified the project at a press conference, publicly tying it to America's leadership in AI. Altman described it as the largest infrastructure build in human history, a digital highway system designed not for cars or cargo, but for intelligence itself. On the western edge of Abilene, the vision has already become steel and concrete. What was empty brushland in mid-2024 is now one of the busiest construction sites in America. Locals call it Project Ludicrous, and the pace lives up to the name. At peak construction, 2,200 workers are on site. Electricians, crane operators, concrete crews working 24-7 shifts. The sound of jackhammers and diesel engines never stops. From a distance, the rising steel frames look less like a tech campus 
and more like an industrial complex, a factory built to manufacture something invisible. The site covers roughly 1,200 acres, bigger than 700 football fields. At its core will be eight mega halls, each designed to house 50,000 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs. When the first phase opens in 2026, the Abilene campus alone will contain about 400,000 chips interconnected into one of the most powerful compute clusters on Earth. For comparison, GPT-4 was trained on about 20,000 GPUs. Stargate Texas will have 20 times that power, and this is only the first site. By 2029, multiple campuses are planned across the United States, each replicating Abilene's model. The scale is almost hard to comprehend. A single rack of these chips draws 130 kilowatts, nearly two orders of magnitude more than a rack from 20 years ago. Multiply that across hundreds of thousands of racks, and the Abilene campus alone will consume more electricity than a million American homes. To meet that demand, developers are wiring in a new 1.2 gigawatt substation the equivalent of powering 750,000 homes. In Abilene, it isn't just a data center rising, it's a city-sized appetite for energy condensed into one campus. For Abilene, Stargate is more than steel and silicon. Its money, jobs, and political attention this town has never seen before. The deal struck between the developers and local officials granted an 85% property tax abatement, wiping away most of the tax bill in exchange for the promise of long-term economic growth. Critics call it a giveaway. Supporters point out that even with the reduction, the city still collects millions each year, revenue that can pave roads, hire police, and fund local services. The construction boom has transformed Abilene overnight with workers brought in from seven different states, hotels are booked, restaurants are full, and the town feels, for the first time in decades, like a boom town. The mayor calls it a once-in-a-generation chance to put the city on the technology map. To him, even 15% of billions is a win, but not everyone is celebrating. Once the data halls are complete, permanent jobs may number in the hundreds, not the thousands. Most roles will be security, maintenance, and landscaping, not the kind of high-paying tech jobs locals imagined. Some residents worry about strain on water supplies or wonder what happens if AI demand stalls. Others voice deeper unease about AI itself. In street interviews, some called it transformative. Others said it terrified them. One resident even wondered aloud if humanity was biting off more than it could chew few really know what's being built just beyond town, only that it will shape Abilene's identity for decades. For all its promise, Stargate faces challenges as vast as its ambitions. The first is energy. Abilene's campus will consume more electricity than a million American homes, and developers are wiring in a 1.2 gigawatt substation to feed the site but that only deepens concerns about straining an already fragile Texas grid. Cooling is another pressure point. AI chips run dangerously hot. Traditional open-loop cooling systems can consume millions of gallons of water per day. In a region already marked by drought cycles, that raised alarms. Crusoe, the contractor overseeing construction, has promised a closed-loop system where water circulates inside sealed pipes instead of being evaporated. The Abilene campus will require a one-time fill of around 8 million gallons to charge the system. After that, annual maintenance drops to just 12,600 gallons per building. Because most of the water is recycled rather than consumed, the ongoing demand is modest. But in a region facing drought, even modest usage can provoke tension. Then there's the supply chain. NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs are the most sought after chips in the world, and every tech giant, from Microsoft to Google to Meta, is fighting to secure them. Contracts worth tens of billions are being signed, but bottlenecks remain. 
and chips are being rationed across the industry. Even if OpenAI has financing, the question is whether enough GPUs can be delivered on time to match the ludicrous construction pace. And then there's the carbon problem. Tech companies promise net zero by 2030, yet Stargate is building its own natural gas power plant on site. The gap between climate pledges and energy reality has never been more obvious. Stargate is being built as the backbone of America's AI future, but it may also become the flashpoint where ambition collides with physical limits. 300 miles north of Abilene, outside the city of Amarillo, another project is taking shape. This one led not by OpenAI, but by a company called Fermi America. It's called Hypergrid, and while Stargate has dominated headlines, Hypergrid is positioning itself as the smarter bet, an AI campus built on its own private energy backbone. The site spans nearly 5,800 acres, and at full build-out will be anchored by 11 gigawatts of dedicated power, more generating capacity than the entire states of Vermont or Rhode Island. The pitch is straightforward. If artificial intelligence is going to become the backbone of the global economy, it cannot depend on public grids already stretched to their limits. Fermi's solution is to create a self-sufficient energy campus where data centers rise directly beside their own power plants. Nuclear reactors provide base load stability. Natural gas offers backup. Solar and wind farms add scale. And massive batteries absorb the surges. It's a private, vertically integrated grid designed for a private, vertically integrated AI future. Hypergrid isn't just a concept sketch. The project is being advanced in partnership with the Texas Tech University System and co-founded by former U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry. The timeline is aggressive. The first gigawatt of capacity is planned to be online by late 2026, with more reactors and generation phased in across the decade. To its backers, Hypergrid isn't simply an engineering project, it's a statement. Whoever controls the energy pipeline will control the intelligence pipeline too. If completed as planned, Hypergrid would dwarf nearly every power complex in America. Its 11 gigawatts of generating capacity would be nearly triple the output of Palo Verde, the country's largest nuclear plant. That's enough to power every data center Google operates in North America with room to spare. The scale isn't just ambitious, it's unproven. No private company has ever attempted to build an energy ecosystem this large solely for data infrastructure. The physical layout reflects the vision. Four one gigawatt nuclear reactors will anchor the campus, surrounded by Siemens energy gas turbines for backup capacity, sprawling solar and wind farms, and massive battery arrays designed to absorb demand spikes when AI models train or scale. Unlike traditional power plants that feed into a shared grid, Hypergrid's energy flows directly into its own data halls, a closed loop where every watt serves one purpose, sustaining AI compute without depending on Texas's overstretched public utilities. The rollout is phased across the decade, each stage will add more generation capacity and more data infrastructure, building toward full self-sufficiency by the early 2030s. To Hypergrid's backers, this isn't just a power plant, it's proof that whoever controls the energy pipeline will control the intelligence pipeline too. For all its ambition, Hypergrid is far from guaranteed. The first major risk is financing. Analysts in Forbes have called the plan overly ambitious, warning it could overextend Fermi's balance sheet before a single reactor is operational. Fermi America's IPO targets assume strong demand, but it has not yet secured anchor tenants to guarantee revenue. Then there's regulatory risk. Hypergrid's design depends on nuclear approvals from the NRC, a process that normally takes years. Reuters notes that despite equipment partnerships with Siemens Energy and Doosan Enerbility, 
Construction can't begin until the NRC grants approval, a timeline Fermi doesn't control. Critics referenced by Reuters express concern that political connections could pressure regulators into shortcuts that undermine safety reviews. Execution risk also looms large. E and E News reported that the project faces heightened scrutiny due to co-founder Rick Perry's political connections and the sheer scale of its ambitions. Delays could leave large tracts of the 5,800-acre site half-finished, a scenario one analyst warned might become a symbol of overreach. Others question the bet itself. If AI demand slows, Hypergrid risks becoming one of the most expensive stranded assets in U.S. history. But if Hypergrid succeeds, it could rewrite the economics of AI infrastructure, proving that energy independence, not grid dependence, is the future of compute at scale. To its backers, Hypergrid represents freedom from grid limits. To its critics, it represents hubris on an industrial scale. For now, the race runs in parallel. In Abilene, steel skeletons rise under floodlights as crews work around the clock to bring Stargate's data halls online. In Amarillo, Hypergrid's backers are waiting on nuclear approvals from federal regulators, betting that financing and licensing will align in time to break ground. Two projects, rising from the same Texas plains, chasing the same future from opposite directions. The tension isn't just about who finishes first, it's about what kind of AI backbone America chooses. Stargate is a sprint. Leverage today's grid, move fast, and light up compute capacity before competitors even realize what's happening. Hypergrid is a marathon. Build a self-sufficient ecosystem that can run for decades without depending on overstretched utilities. One path offers speed, the other, Endurance. Both carry risk. Both carry promise. And the stakes extend far beyond Texas. In Abu Dhabi, the UAE's G42 is backing its own Stargate campus tied directly to solar mega projects. In China, state planners are pouring billions into AI campuses designed to lock in technological dominance. And efficiency breakthroughs like DeepSeek already raising doubts in American boardrooms, could reduce the need for brute force compute altogether. If that shift arrives too soon, America's trillion dollar gamble may look like a colossal miscalculation. So the question isn't just who builds the most capacity, it's who builds the right capacity at the right time. Will the foundation of AI be forged in Stargate Sprint for immediate dominance? or Hypergrid's bet on energy independence? The answer will reshape not just Texas, but the balance of technological power worldwide. This is the infrastructure race no one's watching, but everyone will feel. If you want more breakdowns of the mega projects reshaping our world, subscribe. Because what's being built in Texas right now, it's just the beginning.